Hey, welcome to the Daily Beard for May 18th, 2019. So, uh, question of the week. Um, I haven't been getting many questions of the week from uh, from people. I'd love some more. But um, my buddy Nathan, Nathan Pallant, he's a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, um, hit me with a ton. He, he, gave me, he had a whole bunch and he sent them to me. Um, and then he's like, I got more. And so, I, for the next little while, if no one asks me questions, I'm going to answer his. Um, so this week I'm, I'm doing one of his. Feel free to ask a question. Uh, it could be movie related, could be personal, could be whatever. Uh, could be heavy, could be light, doesn't matter. And uh, I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, answer is guaranteed even if I don't do it on here. If I, if I don't feel like answering it on video, I'll, I'll uh, answer it to you personally, like back how you asked it. But um, All right, so today's question um, uh, is, what did you want to be when you grew up and how does that differ from what you have become and what you do now? So, uh, I wanted to be several things um, growing up. Uh, when I was really young, I wanted to be a, a zookeeper, but I never really, to be honest, put any effort into that at all. Um, like it was just kind of, I thought that'd be a cool job. Um, mainly the schooling kind of like, you know, I was told, well, you have to really get a math and science. And I was like, ah, okay, never mind. Um, so the main jobs I actually wanted to do, um, when I was younger, um, I wanted to be a firefighter. I really wanted to be a firefighter. Um, and again, I, I think it was my laziness is what stopped me from doing that because I knew what I had to get in better shape. Um, so that was a, a big one for a long time. I wanted to be a blacksmith uh, all through my teenage years, and I still love to do that. I've never done it, I'd love to do, but I'd love to do that. Um, even if it was a hobby, one day maybe I'll get to do that. Um, so that was one for like a couple of years, I was like, wanted to be a blacksmith. I didn't think it'd be feasible. Um, if I actually knew what I knew now, I think I probably might have ended up doing it, but you know, and, um, the two jobs I, one, I, I wanted to do badly, but never really followed because I gave it up to do the other job, which, so I wanted to be an inker. Um, now if you were like, what the heck's an inker? I am an artistic to a degree. Um, I'm going to post some stuff on, on Instagram. Um, to show you what I'm talking about if you want. But I I love comic books and I want to be an inker. Now what an inker is, is there's a guy who pencil, uh, the guy who draws the, the artwork for a comic doesn't do everything for it. What he does is the pencils and does the outlines and does like most of the major what goes here, what goes there. But then he does the pencils and then he, if you're in a studio, hands them off to the guy who does the inks. If you're good at this, you could live wherever you want in the world and they'll send them to you. So you could live in Scotland and he'd be in Australia and he'd draw it and then send it to you. And then you'd receive pages and you ink them and you, you literally put the black ink on the page. Um, it's, you may think that doesn't sound like something that that's, is anything, but it's actually like a real thing. And it's, it's not as easy as you think it is because they fill out a lot of the definition and tone and texture for the drawings because the pencils are just the bare pencils. So they literally do all the hard finished lines. And uh, all through high school, I was really good at that kind of stuff. Um, I'm much better working with inks than I am with pencils now, even. Uh, a lot of my stuff I ink. So I, I draw it and then I like, I draw it literally so I can ink it in. I wanted to do that. I was, and I was seriously considering doing that, um, trying to do that. Uh, I had a friend who's an artist, uh, his name's Mike, and he's phenomenal. And I was like, I'm gonna be Mike's inker and me and Mike are gonna make a run at doing comics. And then I gave that up because I thought I was called to be a Salvation Army pastor. Uh, officer in the social army and so I gave that up to, to go do that and that didn't work out uh, I spent a lot of time and effort trying to do that and that didn't work out and uh, so those are what I wanted to be um, what I am now is I'm a support worker at a place called Christian Horizons we work with people who have disabilities of various types um, and help at, at the program I work at the day program uh, we do everything from fun outings to teaching life skills and stuff. Um, and just we're a support to these people. We don't do everything for them. We help them. The, there are people who, who need more help than others and there are people who don't. I, you, you, if you watch, you know I, I sometimes get to take people to movies and we do bowling and stuff like that. But we also, they, there's a lot of teaching involved. Um, 
and just helping. And that's what I that's what I do. Now what I'm gonna do, hopefully, eventually, is be a youth pastor. Because that's really what I, my biggest passion is. And that terrifies me in so many ways, but that's what I if I'm gonna follow what I think God wants me to do, and that's be a youth pastor. So I'm open up to doing that. I talked with my pastor about it and and my friends, Nathan being one of them. Um, and so that's what I'm leaning towards going. That's what I'm trying to go for eventually. Um, and that could happen sooner or later. I don't know. Uh, the, wherever you see, God's got this whole timing thing. God does what God wants with timing. And so my pastor was like, well, not all pastors, like not all youth pastors have degrees because I'm nine credits short from my degree. And he's like, would you consider becoming one before you finished your degree? And I was like, yes, if God wants me there, which means God has to open doors. Um, if he does, I'm fully willing to go where he wants me to go and do what he wants me to do. Um, whatever that means at this point. Um, if that means moving, if that means doing it part-time, if that means taking a step of faith out and uh, hoping for the best. But I have to feel like God really wants me there. <laughs> I have to be really rock solid, positive. But yeah, so that's what I want to do. So that, that's, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a firefighter, which my daughter now is talking about doing, which kind of fulfills some dreams there. Um, zookeeper was a little bit, um, inker was a big one. I, I would have loved to have been an inker and so is army officer. I would have loved to have done that. They didn't want me. So yeah, I do what I do. I hope to do youth pastoring and, uh, that's the question of the day. So thank you, Nathan. Um, if you'd like your question answered, anyone, you, there are ways to get in contact with me. Feel free to do it in the comments here or on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. Or, there's tons of ways. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless. Have a great weekend.